Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program an AT Tiny eighty five microcontroller. So first thing first, go to file, preferences. You will need additional board manager URL. So you just go to here. As and as you can see, I have copied over some additional boards. And the first one is for my Digistum. Digistum board, which I bought from AliExpress. And the second one, which is, and the second link over here, is the one that I tried recently and I have some issues with this board. This is the old one. It cannot play out a tone when I call for the tone function. And the last one is the one that works. So without further ado, just add board to Arduino Uno. Then proceed to check your COM port, which is in my case COM port 3. Programmer will be Arduino as ISP and load and remember to load the ISP in the example sketch. Then click upload. All right, so I have a problem here. It seems that let's try to unplug everything from the Arduino Uno board and try again. And success. Since the Arduino ISP, which stands for, for in system programming, is already installed onto the board, the Arduino Uno board, that means we can use this to program that which is 80 tiny 85 without further ado let's get started 5 volts goes to this pin pinet of 80 tiny the ground goes to pin 4 And you need a 10 microfarad capacitor between reset pin and ground. Let's put it here. Oh, and one more thing, just power it off before I make any connection for safety of the device. Then Pin 13 of the Arduino Uno goes to pin 4. Sorry, pin 7 of 80 tiny. Pin 12 goes to pin 6 of 80 tiny. Pin 11. goes to pin 5 of 80 tiny
Pinten goes to the reset pin which is pin 1 and here you go and of course I built this LED for testing so let's connect it as shown And we are good to go. We are good to proceed on to the programming. Okay, now we have connected the Arduino Uno to the AT Tiny eighty five. Let's proceed on to upload our first program, the simplest program, which is a Blink Sketch. Let me find it. Here you go. Of course, in this case, I use pin zero for the output. Right. Let's connect the Arduino Uno to my PC. Go to tools, search for the suitable Arduino board, which is this one. Go to tools again. Make sure 80 tiny 85 is selected. One megahertz clock internal clock these two just leave as default this left leave it as default this will be as default and Arduino as ISP so next we are going to burn the boot loader onto the 80 tiny 85 chip so let's proceed and we are done the reason to burn the bootloader is because you have to burn the bootloader when you first use the chip and also when you change the internal clock frequency so let's proceed to upload the program And as you can see, that the program works fine. Now let's replace this LED with a speaker. Now we go back to the screen, choose another program, say I want it to play uh, load this program, let's upload. And it works. And success, it works. Okay, let's move on to the other alternative. 80 tiny 85 board which is this one this is technically different than that because to use this 
we actually no need the Arduino Uno so let's unplug it instead we will use just this USB cable and this thing over here back to my screen let's select another board to program this time round we will choose this one Choose DigiSpark default. I do know as ISP. Okay, for that, we will choose Micronucleus. We can start to upload. then there's this message that asks you to plug in your device so do not plug in before that but when this message flash only then you will plug it plug your device in to program and it says program done uploading that means it's a success All right, back to this board over here. Let's test it to see if it works. Of course, I know that making this kind of connection is kind of dodgy, but whatever. As long as it, as long as it works. Success. Oops, the contact is not good. Okay, let's try again. That doesn't work so well. Alright, I have this board over here. It accepts an 80 tiny 85 chip. It's also by GG Stump. But problem is this 80 tiny 85 over here will not work on this board over there because we will need an additional bootloader and this is not the scope of this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching and goodbye.